As we mentioned earlier, Atlassian started as a disruptive new technology for developers over 20 years ago, but we've now evolved a lot since then, reacting to changing landscape of work and evolving our business too. We've developed an overarching approach for how organizations can achieve their goals through better teamwork called the system of work. The basis of our system of work is the idea that most successful teams do three things really well. They one, align work to clear goals across the org, they continuously plan and track work across teams. And lastly, they build, share, and harness knowledge to its full potential. We believe you can do this by adopting JIRA alongside Confluence and Loom across your organization. Once all of your teams are built on the same foundations and you're tracking the core elements of work, specialized teams can go deeper knowing that everything will connect to the greater system. So what is Confluence? For those who don't know, Confluence is a knowledge hub which keeps everyone in sync with everything from brainstorming sessions to meeting notes to strategy documents. It is a connected workspace where everyone can go to get on the same page. So say you have a project management tool where all your work is being tracked. Then you might have a knowledge base which serves as your organization's source of truth for meeting notes, processes, procedures, retrospectives on projects, and so much more. The power of Atlassian is being able to have both of these tools integrate and live in the same platform. Jira and Confluence offer a complete solution for getting work done. You can manage projects in Jira and see context for the task in Confluence. When teams integrate Confluence in Jira, they work in the only platform built for both robust project management and document collaboration, with live views into each. Let's start with looking at project pages for this specific project. You can view existing pages or even create new ones from a variety of templates without having to leave Jira. Here we can open, without having to leave Jira, a Confluence document. If needed, you can edit within it. So here maybe we want to update and add, um, add some new information or a new update. We can close that if we don't actually want to save those changes. And then you can even use Confluence templates, again, all within JIRA. And as you make changes, the updates you make in Confluence or JIRA will be reflected in the other. You can also open an issue and link a Confluence page in issues so your team can move forward confidently with the right context. So maybe you want to add it as a comment if needed. You can also just add it directly to the issue. As long as you have that Confluence link, you can go ahead and add that there. All right, we've added some documents for them to take note of. And then if you want, you can go into Confluence and just like in JIRA, you can create issues directly from a Confluence page if needed. And notice how any updates that we have are going to be reflected automatically in that Confluence page. So you can highlight and then click create an issue. And there it is. You can create your own JIRA issue in that specific project. Make sure to fill out anything that you need. And there you have it. Now I want to talk a little bit about Loom. Loom is an async video communication tool that lets people record and share themselves and their work to deliver the nuance and clarity that docs, emails, and messages alone too often miss. By seamlessly letting team members embed recorded status updates, questions, or detailed instructions directly in places like Jira and Confluence, teams benefit by getting both the written details of work collaboration along with the connectedness and context that only comes from human sharing without requiring real-time meetings. You can create meaningful team collaborations in remote, hybrid, and global working environments. We went over this previously, but we're going to go over this again, which is we're going to show how to add Loom to your Jira instance via the marketplace. Again, you do not have to leave your instance to add an app. You can do so directly in Jira. And of course, uh, 
we have Loom for Jira, which you can see it says added because we already have it. So like we mentioned earlier, Loom allows you to make videos on any browser, but Loom for Jira, that app specifically, enables you to directly embed your videos into Jira issues, which is what we're going to show today. And here you can see that we have the extension installed. So imagine you're on the product design team and you have been asked to redesign the client signature for a mobile app. You are ready to share your ideas with the product team, but they live halfway around the world and finding a time to meet has been really challenging. Well, rather than send a Figma link without context, you're gonna go ahead and record a loom. So go to the screen or tab that you want to share and in the bottom left corner of your screen, you will find a loom extension. You can easily start recording by clicking the record a loom button and from there, you can decide whether you want to share your entire screen, maybe just a specific window or a browser or tab. Click on it. And then go ahead and start recording. Here we have Rachel recording a loom for us. Everyone say hi to Rachel here. And she's going to go ahead and record a quick walkthrough for us in Figma. And a really cool feature here is going to be this floating camera so people can see you explain along with the screen if needed. This is what, we're, what we mean by that connectedness. You can see the person that is explaining to you while also seeing the item that is relevant. You can always opt to have your camera off if needed if you simply want to do a screen share. Now, as soon as you finish recording, your Loom is already ready to be shared. And then you can click on that title to see Loom in the Loom platform. And then let's say you're watching it and you found that there was a really helpful part or a part that you really liked or really enjoyed. You can add reactions and comments directly in context. So maybe you got to the part where you were like, this part is amazing. You loved it. You could add little emojis. And there's tons of emojis. It doesn't have to just be the ones that are defaulted. Maybe you want to add a comment to really express how much you loved it. And there you have it. You'll see the comment, of course, on the side, but you'll also see it in context and where you wanted to specifically comment that reaction on. Then you can go ahead and add the loom in your Jira ticket. So let's go ahead and copy that link. And we'll go into that Jira issue. And if you want, you can go ahead and embed that Loom video directly on the ticket. You can add it in the description or you can do it here. And if you do it here, this is going to be really cool because you'll have access to all the functionality that Loom offers, like I said, such as reactions and comments, and then the enhanced playback speed all within your Jira issue. So here we can look at it again. Like I said, you can go ahead and add all those comments and reactions without even having to go into Loom. You can change the speed. And then you can also add a smart link in a comment section if needed. So now your product team can review your designs and leave their feedback without ever leaving Jira.